Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a website in a few minutes with just a few clicks and I'm going to start with a template because you know usually templates the aim of a template is to make your your to save time and make your your designs easier so I'm going to use our museum template if you want you can purchase it in our online shop I'm going to paste the link in the description below the video and so I'm going to show you a few basic changes that you can do with a template. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is just imagine I have um, like a technology or photography um, company or business and I'm just going to use a one page. So just, you know, to make good use of all the breakpoints and all the elements here, I'm just going to make a few changes. All right. So let's say we have museum over here. Oh, sorry, this is in the master page. So we get museum here. So what I can do is, um, let's say I'm gonna change the name to, let's say this is the new logo of the company name, just made it up, okay guys. And I'm gonna change the font. Instead of this, what you can do is you just can you know, you can fill it with um, with an image. So I can use this. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to change the color to, yep, to this one over here. Okay. So a good thing about the template is that you have already the behavior set. So we have this over here with, you know, it's pinned to the left. So I have the text, I'm going to say about gallery services and contact. So let's say I'm going to change gallery for photos. And I can center this over here. Okay. Let's go back to our workspace over here. Okay, so the, the, the logo is slightly hitting okay like that all right so think about this layer is that there is a top layer you know that I played with a little bit with opacity that I'm gonna change it later okay so the thing is that I'm gonna change this fill I'm gonna use the the photo here okay I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to choose the first picture. I'm just going to be this one over here. Okay. And right now a scale to fill. Perfect. Okay, so this top layer over here, you see, you can go back to fill. And we can change the color to for the logo, I use this color over here. So instead of getting it a bit dark, let's bring it to maybe, let's see how it looks with the grayish or, no, this is way too much. I know. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the opacity. Okay. So that's a really cool effect. So what you can do is also change the color of this to match the same colors we use as, as a filter. So I'm going to change the color to this color over here. All right. This is a state button, I think. Yep, so normal is this color. And when it's active, it changes to another. So what I'm going to do is active. I'm going to change the color to... Uh, brighter color. Let's say that one over there. Okay. So here what you can do is can change the text to, to responsive Adobe Muse theme. Get rid of that. And here say mm, is the future. Okay, so let's go down. Next edit. All the text you can just 
double click and write whatever you want. Here's multipurpose template. So I'm going to write um, what we do. Okay, I'm going to leave the text here, but if you wanted to edit it, you should do the same thing. Next thing, this is the photo. So it also has like a filter over it, so I'm going to change this photo too. So I'm doing the same thing, go to fill, delete this photo, and add a new image. Which will be this one over here. Okay, this has a parallax effect by the way. So I'm going to do the same thing I did up there. So I'm going to change the fill to this color over here and then change this black one to a light grayish and bring it down to. Okay, so you can get rid of this. 100%, let's say 100% creative. Sorry. Okay, now so now we're gonna continue down. I'm gonna leave all the anchor anchor links as it is. And here we have another widget that you can also find in our shop, but we've included here in this template. So it's called sliding boxes. I'm not gonna edit here now because I'm just look, I'm just gonna show you the options, and you have a whole bunch of options here, and you can do a lot of things. So we have a tutorial explaining how, how to use it, and I will link the tutorial. I will just paste the link in the description too. Alright, so I'm going to move down and go to to the next. So all of these images have a parallax effect. So we're going to do the, the, the same thing. We're going to delete the picture and just add it. So just see how with a few clicks we can get a different result. Okay, some same thing with a filter above it. So we're going to change it to a darker color here and then switch from the black here and bring down opacity. Okay, technical support included in your purchase, reliable and easy to use. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. So we get to a point where we have services. So here you can edit the text, give it a title, which is black, and then you can type your own text over here. And if you want to edit Font Awesome, um, first, you have to install Font Awesome. We have another tutorial, so you can watch it, guys. And if you've already installed it, it's very easy using your cheat sheet. So let's make it random changes, okay? So I'm going to use this one over here, copy it, and let's change this one. Right, so just copy. I just selected and pasted it over so it will keep the, the, the colors, all right? So I'm going to make a few more changes over here. Okay, let's say I'm going to select the leaf. Yep, and let's choose another one. This one. Okay, you can also change the color too. So as I've used the darker color, I'm going to select all of them, open the text tool, and then we can change the color here. So it's a darker color. Same thing we can do here instead of black, I'm going to change it to this other color that I prefer. And this instead of black, I'm getting it to a dark gray, which I think looks better. Okay, we got our last picture over here, so we can move on. And we're doing the same thing. Get rid of the fill, add a new image. And add this one over here. And do the same. Change the filter color again. Yeah, leave it like that. Great quality and price 
relation leave it like this and make it again this contact I changed the color before to this and the subtitle is a lighter a dark gray okay let me make sure there's no other section that I've missed okay actually this first section I didn't change it Okay, so it's looking pretty different right now. So I'm gonna change. I'm not. I don't want to change the the links over here. Neither the icons. So right now the icon color is gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the icon to same dark color. But whenever it's active, or whenever we roll over, I want it to be a lighter pink. That's when it's active. And when we roll over. Okay, that's correct. If you want to change the links, you just have to click on it and go to here to hyperlinks. And just copy paste the, the, the new link here, okay? So I'm just going to leave it here to facebook.com sorry that's how you edit every single one of the icons oh, and what I want to, what I want to do here is this background color I'm going to change it to I think I like this color here mm, I think I like the pink yep Play with the opacity a little bit. And this is gray color. You can change the number. Get your email. Hello at responsivenews.com. Set your address and where we are. And here in Google Maps, it's got a filter over it too. Okay, so you can check the filter or edit the map. Once you're done making changes, what you have to do is make sure that in the smaller breakpoints nothing is going wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the top and I'm going to zoom out a little bit to see. So I'm going to the smaller breakpoint. Okay, this seems to look okay. All right, so this is what I mean. Sometimes, maybe you write a text that is a bit, you know, longer, so you just have to adjust it in this break point. And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit so it looks good. Yep, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. Let's check everything is okay. Okay, no text is hitting the margins. I'm going to fix that and how this looks a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down to 40. Exactly. So I think that was the only thing that I had to readjust. Everything else looks okay. All right, so I'm gonna preview this now to so see how it looks.
All right. So I'm going to show you how it looked before. So I'm going to responsive muse. Okay, so I'm going to preview this template, so we're going to compare it, alright? Okay, I'm going to move the tab. Okay, so this is the, the first template, the museum template. You see how you have this parallax effect, right? Remember the icons, remember the colors. Alright, so I'm going to show you how it looks like now with just a few clicks, alright? So we've got a different logo, it still has the same parallax effect. See, it's, it's, it plays with opacity too. It looks pretty cool like that. It's different colors. Yeah, sliding boxes here. Change the color icons. New cool photos. Icons too and a different background. Okay guys, so I hope you liked the tutorial. If you want to do some quick edits or you want to do a quick website, don't doubt it. Just get a template and then start editing it and just with a few clips, clicks you can get a really nice website. Alright, see you guys. Thank you very much for watching.